silence. When was the last time when you listened to the silence of the nature? The silence that almost deafened you, without the occasional chirping of the birds, the quiet whisper of the tree crowns ruffled by the breeze, or the tiny droplets of rain falling on the leaves. There are days like these, slightly melancholic, when the sky is dark, covered with thick clouds, although you can feel the spring in the lush greenery that surrounds you. I prefer the sunlight, but days like this doesn't make me sad, but rather calm and serene and this is something we seldom have. You know, I wanted to go again in the mountain for more than two weeks now, but there was always something coming up and keeping me from doing that. All kinds of relatively urgent tasks that prevented me from doing so. That's okay. Sometimes life goes in the way and it's normal, it happens, and today I'm free. But the weather isn't suitable for hiking. Thunderstorms and lightnings were expected for today, so I decided that there is no need to take such a risk and ended up with a stroll in one of the city parks. But I thought how much we are in a rush in our lives, constantly in a hurry, dashing to and fro, trying to catch the time. And uh, <laughs> that reminded me of a song of Pink Floyd, you know, that good old amazing band and their song Time from that great The Dark Side of the Moon album, which goes like, and you run, and you run, to catch up with the sun, but it's sinking. Racing around to come up behind you again. The sun is the same in a relative way where you're all done. Shorter of breath and one day closer to death. Well, probably you heard it, although it's from the very distant 1973. Anyway, let's move, <laughs> because there are people staring at me and I don't have a hat. If I had one, I could put it on the ground and make some money. Who knows, maybe. Do you think I could? The thing is that it seems to be relatively difficult to find the balance between all the tasks we have on our to-do list each day and there are moments when it's impossible and everything goes messy and you have to constantly rearrange your schedule. In the same time, we have to find a way to open a time to relax a little bit, you know. One could go for a long period of time without taking a break, especially when one is younger. But if you continue like this, sooner or later it will bring you to a burnout. And yeah, burnout is probably better than ending up with some health issues and ill-related problems. Because you know, all those heart attacks and strokes comes from exhaustion and overstrain. And in the meantime, life goes on, the tasks continue to pile up and it's difficult to put them on hold and to take a break. That's the thin line of the middle ground that seems to be so difficult to find and to stick with it. For me, you know, with the time I have developed some kind of skill to first 
prioritize relatively decently my tasks and second to listen to my body and to my emotional state. You know, if you pay attention to yourself, to your body, it will tell you very precisely when you have to let off the throttle for a while and to take some break to regain your forces. The thing is that it often seems that we can't do it because we have so much things to do and we continue full speed ahead although we start to work slower and slower. The funny thing is that for the most part if we afford to ourselves to take some break, at least a short one, then we are able to finish our tasks much more efficiently. In the same time, we have to be careful to not let the breaks we take to lead us to a procrastination. You know, we could take a break for so long that it will be very difficult to start working again and this is what will lead us to procrastination. Anyway, Whatever you do, it doesn't matter if you work or if you relax. Strive to find the balance in everything you do, because if you work without breaks, without relax, you won't be able to do so much things as you wish because you are tired. And in the same time, if you start to procrastinate you won't be able to do so much things just because you are procrastinating and in the same time as the same song goes well every year is getting shorter never seems to find a time plans that either come to know or half a page of scribbled lines hanging on a quiet desperation is the english way the time is gone, the song is over, thought I'd something more to say.